decided to head out today. Sadly without a boat, but we've decided to visit a canal. And we're having a nice walk along the table. There's Scott behind me. So, um, we're starting to consider what we might do next year, canal wise that is. We've got a few things in mind, although we're loath to book anything or make any real plans based on the current lockdown and potential for further lockdowns. So we're thinking, we're thinking about what we could do, where we might like to go, which routes, where we've got gaps. Um, also really like to do another silver propeller. So lots to think about. In the mid 18th century, the famous canal designer, James Brinley, supervised the surveying of two potential routes from the Bristol Channel to the English Channel. The point of this survey was to find a way of removing the need to sail all the way around Devon and Cornwall. Designed and built by James Hollingsworth, the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal was opened in 1827 and whilst it remains disconnected from the rest of the UK canal network, it proved to be a valuable commercial route for a while at least. Halfway along the canal are Mountsill Lower and Higher Locks. Both have a rise of five and a half feet. Originally, the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal didn't actually connect to Bridgewater. Instead, it stopped a little short of Huntworth, where it joined the River Parrot and on to the Bristol Channel. Around ten years later, the canal was further extended when it was connected to the newly built Bridgewater Docks. We will cover the docks in more detail in a future episode. However, this period of industry was not to last. In 1866, the canal was sold to the Bristol and Exeter Railway Company and eventually ended up in the hands of Isambard Kingdom Brunel's Great Western Railway, who favoured the nearby railway line for commercial business. By 1907, all commercial trade on the canal stopped and the canal was used principally as a water supply. on this gate paddle mechanisms are a bit unusual they've sort of got a wheel with a chain and then a big white lumpy metal weight need to do some googling and find out what that's all about it's a gorgeous sunny day just such a shame that this canal really needs a bit of TLC Another feature of this canal is the Somerset Spacewalk, which represents the entire solar system in a series of markers at a scale of 1 to 530 million, one millimetre of towpath equaling 530 kilometres in space. There are two sets of planets, equally spread out from the centre Sun, situated at Mansell Higher Lock, one set heading towards Bridgewater the other towards Taunton.
because it was designed and built in 1997, long before it was demoted to a dwarf planet. The installation also includes Pluto. Having googled those heavy counterweights, I have discovered that they are unique to this canal and are intended to make it easier to use the paddles. To help preserve the locks themselves when not in use, they must be left empty and the bottom gates open. During World War II, several original iron bridges were dismantled and the raw materials were used in the war effort, and the canal was lined with pillboxes to form a line of defence, the remnants of which can still be seen today. Formally reopened in 1994, the canal has been fully restored, including replacing the bridges and resurfacing the towpath. In Taunton, the canal connects to the River Tone via Firepool Lock. Today, it is a well-used cycling, running and walking route through some beautiful countryside. However, I think we should remember the history of this once important canal. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit the subscribe button. And why not tap on the bell to receive notifications for when our next video is posted? It really means a lot to us.